New details now about autism. A new government study shows that more American children may have autism than officials previously believed. So what does this mean for parents? Our Dr. Richard Besser, ABC's senior health and medical correspondent, is here to try and explain this. So what is the study? What is it showing us, Rich? What it found was that one out of 91 parents said they'd been told at some point that their child had a form of autism. More common in boys than girls, more common in whites than African Americans. The, I would take this with a grain of salt, though. It was a phone survey. There was no review of a medical record. There was no examination of a child. It may mean that autism is more common than we thought. Uh, there's a British study that found a similar rate, but I, I would be careful in interpreting this type of survey. So it's more of a survey than a, than a study, per se, and so you're not necessarily saying that we're seeing more autistic children. Maybe the diagnosis, though, maybe that's being that's right. seen earlier? I, you know, I think that there is more awareness now of autism being out there, more doctors looking for the signs of autism. Another point is that in order to get certain services in school, having the diagnosis of autism or one of the autism-related conditions can get you the type of special education in school that can be very, very valuable. Uh, so, because you know parents, when they see this, they, you know, they haven't heard you, but they see this, they've read this, they're thinking, okay, what's the message here? What should I do if I have a child? Well, there really is an important message for, for parents. At every age, there are certain things that children should do. A three-month-old baby should make eye contact and follow your face if you're, if you're moving. There are things to look for. Um, and a pediatrician or a family doctor, when they're examining a child at every age, should look for what are called developmental milestones. If you want to know what those are, there's a great website this, at cdc.gov autism. And you can click on there, and it will tell you at every age what you should look for. And if, if your pediatrician isn't doing mm -hmm. this, Make sure you ask, especially at 18 months and 24 months. They can do a great exam and let you know, is your child interacting properly? Is language developing properly? Are their movements uh, appropriate for their age? So 18 months and 24 months. And you said boys are more likely than girls, four times more likely. Than boys, girls. That's right. Boys are more common than girls, but that doesn't mean ignore this in girls. You no, know, the no. steps for looking for this are really easy. There's a campaign going on, and, it, and it's, it's all about you know, early detection and then early intervention. Because the, the things that you do when children are young, in terms of, of, of trying to work with them, can really improve the outcome. You know that everyone wants to try and find out why this happens and why it's happening more and more. We saw you in David Muir's piece earlier in the program. You have been saying that pregnant women should get the H1N1 vaccination, but you know there are a lot of parents who are concerned and thinking vaccinations may have a role in right. autism, so, but you still believe that they should, if you're pregnant, make sure you get the the shock. The science here is is conclusive that vaccines do not cause autism. The good news is that this year the government's pumping 88 million dollars into the National Institutes of Health to do studies to try and understand what is causing autism, how do you detect it early, and how can you treat it. Right now there are no drugs for treating autism. Mm -hmm. And you said earlier also uh, for pregnant women they should get the shot not the nasal spray. That's right. The nasal spray has a live virus that's not safe for pregnant women. The shot is perfectly safe for, for pregnant women. We've been giving flu shots to women for years and years and years. As always, a lot of important information. Rich, thank you so much. And you can get the latest information on autism by visiting our autism resource page at abcnews.com.